Hello everybody, before we start this video, I'd like to give a shout out to three people this time. All this week we're doing Ms. King, Jolt Dirk, and Phantasmatron. And for everyone here at Shots Super 5, as well as everyone from the Mass Legion, and everyone the Shots Patrol, that wish you good luck and your on could be future. Now, any further ado, let's begin your feature presentation. Enjoy! You can twist the future. That's what I believe. I want to fight for a future where everyone can smile, because a world without people laughing is a dark place. Give up already. It's like I told you heroes earlier. You're all going to die! I won't let that happen! I'll stop you no matter what it takes! Hello everybody, my name is Shulston 25 and welcome everybody to another brand new series of the channel. This time we are now playing the one and only My Hero Wants Justice 2. Now before, be before we start, I'd just like to just point out, and I think you guys are wondering why Wants Justice 2 instead of One Justice 1 and then do it in that specific order. Well, uh, I, as much as I would love to play My Hero Wants Justice 1, the very first one, My Hero Wants Justice 2, I mean, it, it has uh, one particular special feature in that specific game, which, of course, as you saw from the clip before that, it now has an English dub, and, well, see, it has a dub, and uh, Manny told me that in that apparently in this specific game alone there's a lot of interdimensional activity going on in the series that goes on in this the series of events that goes inside this game anyway not really sure what he means by that I mean as far as, far as I'm aware of this seems like the l most unlikely place that villain le un unknown activity would happen with all the villains going on and whatnot but yeah, no, nevertheless, uh, it's a brand new game, it's a brand new series, a little something different. In fact, this is the first time that we get to see My Hero Academia content on Just Super 5. <laughs> well, and for those who don't know, uh, the series My Hero Academia is about simply superheroes, but with anime. And just like Harry Potter, not everybody can be a superhero with their quirks, and not everybody can be... Well, not a superhero, but there are, of course, there are, there are villains, there's all kinds of things, and the manga's still continuing on. Five seasons in a row, with the English dub of season five not too far away. Those who are familiar with it, um, you know, I, I just hope that this is a great surprise to you, but to those who aren't familiar with it, don't worry, I'll be sure to, like, fill you in on any spots that people might find. Oh, who is this person? Who is, what's going on? What, what, what has exactly been happening in this series of events? Well... Long story short, the story follows a young man by the name of Izuku Midoriya, which is a very interesting name, but yet again, so is Naruto, Zamaki, Natsu, Dragneel, Neptune, uh, Naofumi, Watami, yada 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 yada. But he starts off pretty, pretty much like an average Joe Peter Parker, but then as he grew up, and thanks to the inherited power that he got from the number one hero, All Might, um... He started to progress through the ladder, and through the ladder he managed to beat a lot of villains in his path. He still has a lot more training to do, but in this series of events, and I can say, is this is the timeline where the number one hero, All Might, which who was Afwa mentioned, had lost his quirk in a battle to rescue a classmate of his, which is devastating because, well, without the number one hero there is no symbol of peace, and so the pro heroes will have to like get their acts together in finding a new pro because the fact still remains without a pro hero there ain't no s symbol of peace but there are multiple hero schools throughout the entire world and in, in this specific dimension because I'm you know and yeah I, I told Urza Scarlet that you know UA does not exist in Magnolia which I just like to highly recommend but yet, yet again, the costume was very nice, and same goes with Gargiel and Panther Lily too. But nevertheless, never, but nevertheless, um, 
Um, now, in this specific series, we'll be following Izuku's journey from the events of, I think, the end of Season 3 of My Hero Academia and to the halfway point of Season 4 of My Hero Academia. So, for those who, again, are familiar with it, then, again, you know, really glad to be playing this game for you. If not, then don't worry, I'll be sure to fill you in as many spots as I can so that nobody gets confused and nobody, like, loses track of the story, but... Now that everything's all been filled out, and with the brand new series just upon the horizon, uh, yeah, let's get started, let's get cracking with the series, and of course, if you enjoyed the series, and with the episodes that's come, as well as the surprises like the Art 5 Story Mode coming after this one, the, the Art 5 Story Mode is coming after this series, I promise you. Cross my heart, stick a needle, you, you know all that stuff, but... Yeah, so again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon. I'm really looking forward to sharing, um our first bit of My Hero Academia content for the channel. It's going to be so exciting with the English dub cast providing the voices for this specific game only, but uh... You know, I, well, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm all fired up for this, so without any further ado, allow the new series, Shorts to Plays, My Hero Wants Justice 2, let it begin. So, now that we've done the first one, let's see what the second game's about is about. Alright, so... Again, like, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, here we go. So here we go. Onward to the next part. Now it's your turn, he said. All Might. Did he mean me? As news of what happened in Kaminoku spread, people all over the world were devastated. Our superhero society changed overnight. The next day, All Might summoned me to the beach. There, he punched me. After that, he told me he couldn't fight anymore. It was over. The symbol of peace was actually retiring. Texas Smash! You've made a promise. But as it turns out, you can't keep your word. If you kids had gotten hurt, everything would have been in vain. Got some bad influences. <clears throat> the last sparks of one for all have left me. I can barely use my muscle form. I can't protect you when you get yourself in trouble now. You're always rushing to help people, no matter the danger. Destroying your body over and over, and then it coming to Oku. You managed to rescue your friend without being injured or getting into a fight. I'm so proud of you. From here on out, I will devote myself to training you. You're stuck with me, so let's work hard. He punched me, but I barely felt the stinging on my cheek. And... That's when I knew it was actually true. All Might's reign was over. I couldn't keep worrying about getting stronger, because I had to improve. As I sat there crying in All Might's arms, I remembered the first days of our training. Young Midoriya, it's tutorial! Oh, here we go, already into tutorials, okay! First. Let's see if you can perform each type of move. Okay, nice this little list here. Will make you strong for the future. Okay, so, uh, here we are. First thing into the gameplay, and I've got to say, um, it, it look, it's looking pretty good, and it's, uh, it, it's a fighting game, and it's easy to maneuver around in, so, uh, let's see, what, uh, let's see how, uh, see how we get on with this, shall we? Okay, so, let's begin with a dash. Oh, uh, I was going to do, a uh, Okay, oh, automatically brought me down to the bottom of the list, but don't worry, I could use the right trigger to pull up, so... Gotta use a... Repeat a second! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! No! I'm teaching here! Alright. There we go. That's our auto combo. Unblockable attack. Then we got our quirk special one! Oh! Nice! And then we got quirk special two! Oh! Uh, 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 oh my! Do you mind? Oh! Uh, there we go. And then, then we got quirk special... Oh! Please, all my- I, I don't- I don't want- I don't want to let you down! Please don't take it out of me, please! Alright then, push, 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 push,
Do you mind, Toshinori? Do you mind? To which, you, if anybody doesn't know, All Might's real name is Toshinori. Okay, just want to put that. Oh, there. There we go. Next, we do guard, which is the right button or whichever button it is on the Xbox version. Then we go jump, and then jump in midair, which is also do a double jump, and then there's the dash. Okay, okay, we'd be fighting. First fight of the series. Here we go. Alonzi. There we go. Woo! Dang, looks like All Might got some air. There we go. Oh no! Oh! He lost me in the air! Alright. You may be good, All Might, but I know a few secret techniques. Which I'll be using a lot in the series. Oh! <laughs> One good old kick to the kisser. Good job, Izuku. Woo! And there we go. S rank. And, uh,. Uh, just for guys let you know that um, if by seeing the coins down there I did play this game before only just to um, yeah got a couple, couple things to now just to get used to the game but don't worry we'll be sure but, but yeah, it's okay we'll be sure to spend uh, it's just so that we have everything a lot ready for the series like all the all the all the battles all the cinematics ready for the series to come but yeah uh, no, nevertheless, um, it's it's gonna, it's gonna be quite the series, and with this first S rank, it's it's gonna be quite a wild one indeed. Okay. It's so crazy. Out of all the paths my life could have taken, I met the greatest hero in the world, and he chose me as his successor. I have to keep running toward my goals at full speed, and help create a bright future. Now, it's your turn. Oh my... I swear... I'll become a hero like you... No matter what! I'm sure you will, buddy. I'm sure you will. It wasn't just All Might's quirk that I inherited. I also inherited his unyielding convictions as the number one hero. What you might call... Let's begin! Okay, ready to start the next chapter, and uh, of course um, there's a little bit of dialogue within the chapter selection, so it gives a little bit, bit of time for the characters to say what's going on before the battle begins, which is a nice, nice touch indeed, especially for the before the English dub patch. Very nice touch indeed. And of course I have to give kudos to the English and Japanese voice actors for such a of detail, and a very good job on this game too. Good job, Bandai. It's fine now. Okay. I'm glad you're here, young Midoriya. This is part two of the tutorial. Part two? We're going to practice minor techniques. Okay, get ready to test all of the moves. Okay, so dash, like answer successful. You hard-working little whippersnapper. I Wait, there we go. If you listen to your mentor and Dodge, and then to have to recover while well down. All right, so we've got to be knocked down. There we go. God. But God, then there. We, oh, there we go. Seem to do it all right. Okay, just need to wait for my uh, for my psychics there. In case you don't know who the psychics are, there are two little uh, uh, character to characters over there where the character icon is on the. Oh, there we go. So it says here you can use your psychic when you fill the psychic gauge, which is up there. And then if you press L1 or R2, um. You can then call on the psychic to help you out during battle, which is again another nice feature from My Hero Wants Justice 2, and it's only exclusive to My Hero Wants Justice 2. Not sure if the same can be said for My Hero Wants Justice 1. I might need to check that again. But uh, for the first psychic call of the game, and this is also going to introduce uh, a brand new character into it. But uh, first off, to uh, show her light in the spotlight for this first episode of a brand new series, here we got coming in. By levitating all that into the air was uh, Uraraka or Uchaku Uraraka with a power being levitation. Very powerful ability, but the side effect. Well, it. I'm sure it can be explained another time. And of course. Oh. Okay. Okay, sorry for interrupting you there, all my. Okay, and of course, the one beside her, which is what I was going to say. Well, the one beside Uraraka on the. Um, 
the support gauge is Tenya Ida, also known as Ingenium, who uh, probably can run very fast and just like an engine can attack with a fearsome force, but now that I've explained a good few of the characters already, let's uh, get the uh, Pulse Ultra gauge up and let's go with our Pulse Ultra 1 by, push by pushing the R1 in triangle, unleashing a devastating special move! Ooh. Good job! Next is Plus Ultra 2! Build up two bars of your Plus Ultra gauge and give it a shot! Okay, so we gotta uh, raise the gauge up again, but this time uh, we gotta get to Plus Ultra 2 just like this. Now, one thing you ought to know about Ultimate Attacks is that you uh, they might not always connect because they do have like different varieties of Ultimate Attacks, so if you, um, if you like, use it in a combo like so. If you use it in a combo like so, um, you'll be able to get it off pretty easily. Again, this could change between each individual character, but as soon as, as soon as you get the hang of it, as soon as you like experiment with the different combos with the different characters, um, it should become completely. It should become like bread with butter, smooth and easy. Right to the kisser, and he's still smiling. That's all, Mike, for you. One full bar of your plus ultra gauge and release a sidekick plus ultra! A sidekick plus ultra, okay. Okay, so it says here the designated sidekick will unleash a plus ultra one by attacking. Okay, so um, that means uh, what I've got to do is raise the um, the plus ultra gauge by one, and then if I call in the sidekick, which of course I'm not doing right now, let's call in Tenya Eda. Uh, he performs his Pulse Ultra 1, which is again absolutely fantastic, and that did not work. Come on, he don't work with me! I know this is the first time, for, first time, brand new series, but come on. Okay, alright, Uraraka, it's your turn. There we go, that's the way, that's the way, and that's why Deku likes you. Wait, what? Okay, okay, here's the final technique. Build up three full bars of your Plus Ultra gauge, and unleash a Plus Ultra a plus ultra all oh, sounds spicy. I like it. All right. Sorry, I'm gonna have to uh, perform a couple of uh, slick combos, but I'm sure you'll be okay. I mean, I mean, all those muscles will prove to be extra protection. Oh, ooh. Okay, and now we go. This there we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Ooh. Three times the power. Let's practice one last time. Young Midoriya, show me your Plus Ultra! Very well, you heard him, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to perform our Plus Ultra! Here we go! There we go. And let's go, mixing up the combos a bit, saving the day. Well, well, it's merely training at this point, but you're getting one. There we go. Oh! Levitate, levitation! There's all the tricks! Okay. Alright, Ida, gonna need your assistance here. Oh! Nice job, Ida! Okay, now it's time for another Plus Ultra 2. Right in the kisser! Unleashing that dynamic entry! Lions Barrage! And now, secret technique! Try hard punch! Oh, you're perfect with that! Nice! Perfect victory! Oof, I think so. We're going to need to replace that thing on the wall, but uh, hey, we did it! At least we did it! Okay, I think that should be all the tutorials now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much all the tutorials, and now that we're all familiar with the controls and now everything works, uh, I think we can now um, continue on with the main story, shall we? So, uh... Yeah, without any further ado, let us see what the next battle holds for us. Here we go! We managed to save Bakugo, and I headed home. I should probably see what my old man is up to, given what a scene he was making earlier. After saving Bakugo, we took him to talk to the police. Then it took half a day to get home from Kaminoku. 
I kept wondering, what impact would All Might's retirement have? Who would be the number one hero now? There you are, Shoto. I was afraid something had happened to you. You could have at least responded to some of my messages, you know. At least you're okay. So, uh, Dad's been in a mood since he got back. You should go see him. Watch it. You're going to demolish our house. The half and half hero, Shoto Todoroki, with the abilities of both fire and ice. Although he, although thanks to his very depressing past with his father, he refused to use his fire powers. It was only thanks to Izuku Midoriya that he was able to use both of his powers to the best intention. Shoto, get over here. The fiery hot number two hero, Endeavor. Also father to Shoto Todoroki, who gave him a little bit of a hard time when he was just but a child. He still prides himself as being one of the most powerful heroes that the world had to offer. And don't worry ladies and gentlemen, he will not become a mean person for long, for after the events of what happened with All Might losing his quirk, he eventually became a number one hero himself in the near future, just after the events of this series, and would later become a better person, not to just society, but to his own family as well. I know someone's gonna fight him, hello? I was not ready for this! Okay, um, Endeavor, um, I know you're upset that uh, your rival has um, retired now, but, but please, please, don't take your anger on me, I'm gonna get cooked! Ah! Oh, no, 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 okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I was not expecting um, Endeavor to take his anger out on me. Oh, frozen! He was frozen today! Oh! There we go! Go to Ice Dash! Okay! Your son is not a barbecue, good sir! Oh! St stuck on the wall, are you? Well, uh, you can get back down here. Oh! Ooh! There you go, using that firepower. There you go. Increasing the heat. Feel the heat. Oh! Okay. Oh, okay. Nope. Not the fire spear. Not the fire spear. Nope. Get back down there, and now it's time for a secret technique. Yes, I must become not just. Ooh! Icicle spear attack. Good job, Shoto. Oh! I can't stop. I won't stop. Amazing. They say fire and ice was a lethal combination, but now I'm starting to see. Now I'm starting to see what that means now, Shoto. Good job, and I think you managed to cool down, cool down your dad's fiery temper a bit. So, uh, if, if, if only this fight happened in the series, though, maybe it might help out with this guy. But either I'm, I'm happy with how it was in the main series as I am with um, how the events turn out in the game. But nevertheless, good job, Shoto. Good job indeed. Right. Of course. Another rant from my old man. How many of those have I heard? Although, he did seem pretty emotional this time. Well, I suppose, in the end, he's just trying to do what he thinks is best. Just wait. I'll reach the top in my own way. I've always risked so much for my dream. Of course my mom was worried sick about me. I'm sorry, Mom. But I have to do this. Let's begin! If I recall, this is where, um... After the Kaminoku oh, incident, yeah. UA decided to move its hero students on campus. Given everything that had happened, it was for our own protection. But before we could start packing our bags, the school needed consent from everyone's guardians, so the teachers did home visits. Before I knew it... All Might was at my house! I'll be frank with you. Ever since enrolling at UA, my baby just keeps getting hurt. I won't allow Izuku to move into the dorms. I shouldn't have been surprised. I'd been ignoring my mother's feelings for so long. 
How many times has she seen me bloody and broken after fighting villains? But still... Look, Mom! All my... You too! At the hospital, I got this letter thanking me. It's from Koda. He's the boy I saved at the training camp, and this made me feel like a real hero. That's what I'm meant to be, so I won't stop. That means I'll keep training even if I'm not at UA. Listening to you, I can tell you're on your own path, not just following in my footsteps. That's good. And I know that learning from heroes will help you achieve your goals. So please, ma'am, I believe that young Izuku is the right person to succeed me. He is my choice to become the world's next symbol of peace. So please, will you allow me to devote myself to helping your son? We will go beyond. I will walk beside him and lift him up. Even if it costs me my life, I swear I'll protect him. No. All Might, you are Izuku's reason for living. So don't give up your life. He needs you to raise him and keep him safe. If you can promise me you'll do that, then he can return to UA. I promise you. Your idol is impressed with you. I'm sure that's one of the happiest things that's ever happened to you. But listen, if you're staying at UA, you have to keep out of trouble. Izuku, be careful. I will. I won't make you worry. And of course, another particular feature about the story mode is that if you can see um, a main and a sub next to the five on chapter five, uh, if you press the square button or the X button, it t switches you from a main event to a sub event, which also counts as a part of the story mode. And I can reassure you that we will be doing everything. I mean, everything in the villain story and the hero story. Okay, the villain story is going to somebody else and will be released on a later date, but here in the hero story, we'll be doing every main event and every sub event. So we already did the main event here and now we're switching over to the sub event. So let's see what's, uh, see what's going down the sub event, shall we? Gotta pay a visit to Jiro's and Bakugo's homes. I hope their parents give me permission. Let's begin! Okay, and so the, uh... The home visits continues as, uh, apparently we're playing as somebody new this time. And we're visiting, I think we're visiting Bakugo and Jiro in this one, so... In order to better explain the dorm system, namely how it would help protect the students, All Might and I went door to door. Next stop was Jiro's home. I hope that you'll give us the honor of continuing to teach Kyoka. I believe wholeheartedly. That UA can help her become the best possible hero. No need to lay it on so thick. We've already made up our minds. My dad thought All Might's battle was totally rocking. I even think he got a little teary-eyed. Anyway, we're done. And that just now was, of course, Jiro and her ability. It all revolves around sounds from the ear, from the ear, earphone cords around her ears, which is not, which may seem bizarre at first, but once her ability is activated and you hear that sound, prepare your ears, because it's a lot louder than the flipping a, a what's it called, a ER video, and that's by initials, and, but I, I'm sure, for those who understand ER, I'm sure you what you mean. But in other words, it's a ridiculously loud video, so prep your ears. You know, uh, I thought the parents would come down on us a lot harder. I suppose you're part of the reason they're not, so, uh, thank you, All Might. <laughs> Knock it off, this isn't like you. Besides, I have a feeling the next family won't be an easy sell. This visit might be rough. Yo, young Bakugo, how thoughtful of you to wait for us outside. And the blonde-haired kid is, of course, the rival of Izuku Midori and also his classmate, Katsuki Bakugo. 
His hero name is undecided, but it was going on the lines of King Explosion Murder or Lord Explosion Murder. All of those have been redacted, but nevertheless his quirk is nonetheless very powerful for he can then create explosions from his hand. Yes, actual explosions that are not only devastating, but leave a deadly impact. And with his fiery hot temper, well, might want to br brace yourself a bunker for this one. All Might. I gotta know. Don't lie. What exactly is Deku to you? I'm sorry, young Bunker girl, but that's something I just can't tell you. He's my student, just like you. A fledgling hero with bright prospects. I figured you wouldn't tell me the truth. In that case, I'll just have to force the answer out of you. Whoa, okay, hang on. You ain't, you ain't gonna attack an injured hero, are you? I know you're a little bit bum hurt about you being kidnapped by villains in season three, but come on! Don't waste your breath with such an illogical threat. As you can see, All Might is seriously hurt. If you're looking for a fight, I'll be your opponent. All Might, stay behind me. And this gloomy fellow here is the homeroom teacher of both Bakugo and Izuku by the name of Aizawa, also known as Eraserhead. Cl well, a bit, bit of a weird name but was given to him by a hero formerly known as President Mike, but his quirk, you better watch out because if you stare into his eyes, your quirk's going bye-bye, baby. Okay, and we're, look, we're using that quirk to stop Bakugo from attacking all my, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yo, I was trying to think of his first name, but I did skip my mind that his name was Shota Aizawa. Okay, really, really need to put that in the reps next time. I, uh, next time a character comes up, I'll be sure to list out all their first names and second names by the next episode. But nevertheless, okay. Seems like Bakugo's not doing anything too dangerous. Okay, uh, I stand corrected. Okay, you gotta chill out, mate. You gotta chill, chill. Ooh, okay, I think we might get ourselves set up for a perfect victory here, right? If this keeps. Ooh, okay, that is going to set us up great. All right, but hey, there we go. Perfect. There we go, get out of here, back we go. Ooh. And now, here comes our plus ultra one. And I think this should put an end to it. There we go. Nah, I'm sure I'm sure you'll get to this level someday back we go. Don't think yourself too much about it anyway. It is illogical to resist. Amazing. There we go, a brand new S rank. Okay. So, let's uh let's continue with the story then, shall we? Now that Bakugo's chilled to some degree. You don't wanna tell me that badly, huh? Whatever. Come inside. Godski, what have you done now? You causing trouble for your teachers? Why else would they be doing home visits? Out with it, what have you gotten into? Well, at least we all know where he gets it from. Um, and they are <laughs> This is about the whole on-campus living thing. Hell yeah, I get this kid in a dorm room. I think Yue really understands who Kotsky is at his core. He is a hot-tempered brat. But please, train this giant pain and make him a good hero. We talked about Bakugo being a hero at the press conference. I guess thanks to that, his mother trusts us to teach him. From now on, we teachers will not just be mentors for our students, but protectors too, to really take care of them. And I'm sure you've taken care of him very well. Hope, And hopefully before, before the series ends, it will all be quite the story. Anyway. Okay, um, we just, uh, chilled him down and he's back ready for more! Okay, so, um... We, while we played as Deku, it's only right we'd be playing as Bakugo early on this, uh, on in the game, but, uh, anyway... Um, let's see who, uh, his opponent is gonna be. I hope they don't get too, uh... There we go. In mid-August, I packed my bags and moved out. 
I'd now be living in the dorms along with my classmates. Our building was called Heights Alliance, located on the edge of UA's campus, about a five minute walk from the main school. Given everything that's happened recently, I'm glad our class is here safely. Now then, I'll explain how your dorm assignments will work shortly. But first, this is important. Listen well. Todoroki, Kirishima, Midoriya, Yayorozu, Ida. You five are the ones who broke the rules and went to rescue Bakugo that night. Ruby? As for the rest of you, I assume you were at least aware of their plan. Normally, you'd all be expelled. You betrayed the trust of your teachers. Even if it was to keep your friends from getting into trouble, they could have died. I hope each of you understands that. However, we can't kick out students while the League is out there. Who knows what they could be plotting next. So, in order to regain our confidence, you'll need to obey our every rule and live as model students. Got it? Now, look alive. Enjoy your new home. Wait, that's it? Pretty crappy pep talk. We're like disappointments. I feel so lame. The blonde haired kid is uh, what best known as Denki Kaminari Mon, and his power is, of course, electricity. Uh, too much voltage could be a little bit too much for him, but once he uses it as a weapon, it's electrifying, both, literal, both figuratively and very literally. Dumbass, come here! Huh? Wait, why? What's up? Uh, Bakugo, uh, would you mind leaving Denki alone, please? I'm just explaining what he does! Okay, he's- he's not leaving him alone, guys! Okay, prep the bunkers! Okay, and- Whoa! We can- Ooh! Yeet! Whoa! I just broke his unblockable attack! Bakugo, calm down! Whoa! There we go. Keep up with the bombardment. Oh, get up. Too much bombardment. Um, okay, and now I'm just getting close. Sorry, Denki, you have to do this, but here it comes. Plus Ultra Boy. I'll oh, spell look next time, Denki. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get you a band aid ASAP. That power, though. I think you enjoyed it a little bit too much, Bakugo. I mean, I know you're voiced by Clifford Chapin, aka ba uh, Kaba from Dragon Ball, but there's a, there's enough Super Saiyan power for everybody here. So just can, can you do it? Please, please, Bakugo, could you do it? Could you could you do it? Please, thank you. <laughs> oh, God, he beat. He beat up my man so hard he turned him into Saitama! Now what was that for? He's fried, Bakugo! You losers all sounded depressed. It was getting annoying. <laughs> oh man, what a moron. You're so helpless. Oh, this. Oh, Bakugo, what have you done now? Even the audience is laughing! Don't dang damn it, Bakugo! You made the cameraman laugh. Are you happy? I guess sometimes it's good to blow off steam. And a couple, and a couple of laughs too. But at least everyone's settled down now. All right, moving along, shall we? How long's he? Time to judge who has the coolest room. I want to see some impressive interior design, you guys. That's what it's going to take to be crowned room king. The Room King? Well, I've heard of King of the Pirates, but the Room King! This should definitely be an interesting battle indeed. If this is a battle event, which of course it would be a main, but I digress, I digress. Let's see what we've got today. Each student dorm holds one class. Girls are on the right, and boys are on the left. The first floor is a common area. That's where you'll find your kitchen, baths, and laundry rooms. Good to know it's well equipped. Doth my youth deceive me? Our baths are located in the common area? Is this heaven? This little man is known best by the girls of UA as Mineta. This guy does have the necessary ability to fr uh, to, fr to um, well, I'm sure this quote will be best explained in a 
in a fight, but but more importantly, around the college or, or around the institute at UA High School, he is known far and wide for his career in being a pervert. A genuine, open pervert, a variety of perverts. Now, I don't want to say anything bad about anything about any of the UA students, because they do have the ability to save the universe if they so wanted to. Mineta, he, he's, he's quite a quirky kid, but he's also kind of nuts. He might even save the universe if he only had some go- Okay, right, any more and I would have made an ultimate muscle reference right there, but <clears throat> uh, anyway, so uh, uh, be sure to keep your girlfriend safe around him at all times. Trust me. Uh, Oh, tr trust me on that. Anyway, moving on, moving on. So spacious and pretty! Oh, look at that sofa! The hyperactive pink girl here is known as Mina Ashido, who apparently has the ability to um, control... Let's see, let's see. I think Manny's wrote it down right here. I don't know why Manny's wrote select characters, but not all the characters. It would have helped if he wrote down all of them. But her power is to uh, conduct or fire acid from her hands. Um. You know, I'm, I'm not complaining. I mean, if it if it got her this far, then I'm not complaining. Your rooms have already been assigned. The belongings you sent ahead have already been placed in your new spaces. Spend the day unpacking and getting settled. I'll tell you more about your next lessons tomorrow. And Minetta, the baths are not co-ed. I warn you, you will behave yourself. And there we go! It came Minetta prepared. I've heard of houses being Frank Spencer proof. But now, it's Minetta proof! It's weird. I know we could have died, but it's kind of exciting to be living here. Hey boys, are you done unpacking? Because if so, I think we should have a contest. The girls and I were thinking, we should vote to see who has the coolest room! And to those English dub watchers, uh, Mina here is voiced by Caitlin Glass, who is best known for her voice in voicing uh, Haruhi from Oran High School Host Club, and Vados from Dragon Ball Super, okay. Hmm. Uh, very, very, very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, good idea. Come to mind, girl. I've got so much stuff Okay, Minetta, 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 okay, listen, mate, mate, mate. Um... I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty sure the YouTube censors would not allow this kind of crud, so we, we, we gotta put a stop to that! We'll crown a winner and everything. Now, any volunteers to go first? I will not be ignored! This isn't fair! Start with me! But, okay, um, looks like we are gonna be fighting him after all, well, uh... At least, uh, well, at least we'll be teaching him a lesson or two! Here we go! There we go! Bring in that acid power! There we go! Special secret technique, acid rain! Okay, just gotta avoid his uh, Minetta sticky powers, which of course you'll see in a sec. Whoa, okay, don't flip in, use your dynamic entry on me, mate! There we go, got an acid drop kick. Ow! Minetta, what did I just say? What did I just say? Here we go, have an acid beam. Alright, so the balls he throws are super sticky, but in this game they can also slow, uh, slow you down, so you best be careful with those. And now, Acid Beam again! Acid Beam Cannon. Oh, sorry Piccolo, I'll uh, refrain that joke for now. Oh, there we go! And now we've got- Ooh! Break dancing! She be break dancing! Ooh! Bring up an acid wall, okay! And now, time for a plus ultra one! Show off that break dancing movement! <laughs> oh! And that, gentlemen, is how you handle an open pervert. And with that, the YouTube censors have been spared. Yeah, All right, good job. Amazing. And with Mina's victory, we've got ourselves an S rank, a a good streak of S ranks indeed. That may change because each character is different, but so far so good. So far so good for the first episode. Good job, Miss Ashido. And so, at Ashido's suggestion. We all decided to judge the rooms we barely moved into. First off, everyone headed to... What? No! That one's mine! Hold on! It's not ready! Please don't! Wait! Whoa! It's all my everywhere! Jeez, you're such a fanboy! It's amazing! This is so much fun! Whose room is next? 
Retro Room Up. Okay, Retro Room Up is uh, my boy Tenurita. Next class rep. Whoa, you've got so many glasses. Do you really need all these, Ida? Kirishima, your room is. Uh, let's just say I don't understand what some boys call decorating. The determined redhead is known as Irojimo Kishima, best known by his hero name of Red Riot. Inspired by a hero that goes by a similar name, his quirk allows him to harden his body like a shield, an, in an indestructible shield, might I add. Though it, though it can easily crack at this point in time, he would then learn to fu fully master its ability, becoming the Invincible Shield, which we will see later on in the series. Fingers crossed. Adorable cake! Delicious! What? Why is Tokoyami's room so scary? And why do you have swords? Dang! Todoroki's room is so traditional. Are those floor mats? Did you have this place remodeled? And Aoyama. Oh, uh, yeah. Makes sense. A Aoyama here is best known by his hero name. I I can't stop twinkling. No kidding! His name is literally, I cannot stop twinkling. Okay, for a guy in the English dub that's voiced by Joe McDonald, best known for voicing Bob Ollie Mikuma and One Piece, and Zerif from Fairy Tail, that's way too much flipping sparkles, Joel. Do we need to have a flipping door? I know I'm next, but this is kind of embarrassing. I mean, don't tell yourself how to. Yeah, Jiro, hopefully you'll be nice. Well, I definitely seem playable, and it's a nice touch. Let's see Ashido's room. It's super cute. And Yayorozu's room? Oh, that furniture looks expensive. They're very posh, though. Hagakure's room. <gasps> um, can, can someone please, uh, can someone please show the open perv, the Jiraiya tier pervert to his room, please? That's way too much drool, even for a human. You can't pick yourself for this, guys. And now, without further ado, here are the results of the first Best Room competition! With a total of five votes, the overwhelming winner of this totally awesome contest is... Drumroll! Ricky no Sato! By the way, all the girls voted for you. We couldn't get enough of that yummy cake! <laughs> Something about, something about cakes, and it'll just get some every time. You villain! Aspiring heroes shouldn't resort to bribery! That's so not fair! <laughs> okay, kind of skip the conversation there. Sorry about that! Sorry, I pressed the X button by accident, but hey, at least we're almost done with the episode now. At least we're almost done, Alon Z. Okay, uh, sorry about that, everybody, about that. Um, just now, um, Cleo just came... I just uh, came in and um, she uh, wanted me to want me to show her um, her progress with her work so far. She's such a big girl now. And then I accidentally pressed the X button. I pressed the X button by flipping accident. I, I don't know. Maybe it might have just been that. Maybe it's because I was like, um, I, need, I need, really need to get the timing down with like the dialogue events because you know when they stop a sentence, I just have a little bit of a knack. The same was true when I did. Uh, the fairy tale walkthrough, which I thought it would, but you know, I'm really, really gotta wait to the end of the sentence. But hopefully, with the English dub, it will definitely be easy. But I'll definitely work on that whenever I play Japanese dub games. But nevertheless, we're here on the final event of the episode, and it's going to be a sub event. So let's uh, see what it is. My heart was hurting, and what I said must have upset you, but it made me so sad to be without you. I'm really sorry. And this little precious bean talking right now is, of course, um, the voice of the frog hero. Um, let's see, Manny's list says it. Oh, yeah, I believe her name is Suyu Asui, also known as Froppy, and has a lot of frog powers, but that tongue comes not only as a good weapon, but also as a good, you know, uh, rope, rope of life in what, more ways, shape, than one, but uh, more, ways, more ways than one. But nevertheless, it looks like she's, uh, she's got something to say to her pals, so uh, let's go see what it is before the episode's over. Here we go. This, play, this will play the story video. Let's we would it. like that very much. Thank you, Bandai. Here we go. The room contest turned out to be pretty interesting, especially since Sato was the unexpected winner. Not everyone got to experience the excitement, though. Later on, some of us got called outside. 
Todoroki, Deku, Ida, and you too, Kirishima and Yaoyorozu. Do you have a second? Sue wants to talk. It's really important. The thing is, you guys know I'm pretty straightforward. But sometimes, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss. After Bakugo was taken by the villains, we were told not to go after him. So I knew your rescue attempt would break the rules. I wasn't sure what to say to you. So I hardened my heart and tried to speak my mind. No matter how hard that was. I said, if you went against our teacher's wishes, you'd be acting like villains, not heroes. I was hurting inside. But I'm sure hearing that hurt all of you, too. Despite my warning, you still went and saved Bakugo. I didn't know that until this morning. I thought I'd stopped you, but I'm a complete failure, and I felt betrayed by my classmates. I didn't think I deserved to joke around and have fun with everyone like usual, and it, it made me so sad to be alone. That's why, even if I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to be feeling, I... I I wanted to tell you this so we could be friends again. It's not just you who feels that way. Everyone has been upset. We all want to get back to normal. Honest. This is so complicated. But let's do our best. We'll train really hard and be good friends again. I know we can do it. Sue... So, I'm sorry! Thanks for telling us how you feel! With that... We all had a new set of aspirations. To be heroes, that part didn't change. But also, to regroup, to trust each other, and to get back to everyday lives. What happened in the events of Season 3 and what happened with Bakugo and All Might was, was, had left a major impact on everybody at this frame in time, but... In time and after and after a lot of events that happened in between, they managed to get back to somewhat a somewhat of a normality, but it's but this talk, this specific moment was like a rite of passage to everyone in there, and hopefully they'll learn to grow from that. But with that and with uh with everybody's thoughts now on their shoulders and everyone all you know, all body body again after that long battle. Now, I believe, hope, and yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think this might be the end of this episode. Although it, this one might be the first episode, don't worry, there's going to be plenty more surprises to come within the world of My Hero Academia. I'm, I'm really happy that I get to share this experience with you guys, especially with it being a new series. But if you enjoyed this and the episodes to come, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more episodes of Once Justice 2 coming soon. Um... And yeah, again, this is going to continue on through Season 3, but we're definitely going to be getting into some Season 4 territory as the episodes go on. I did do a couple of, um, a bit of research beforehand. This series may be a 6 or 7 episode series, but as soon, like, like I said before, Art 5 Story Mode will be behind, will be after this series. But, nevertheless, I will... You know, I will do my best to make sure that this series is just as enjoyable as Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, as enjoyable as Fairy Tale, and it might, and you know, to share what this world has to offer with all of its characters, all the introductions that might be needed for those characters, and all sorts. But thank you so much for, thank you. Ugh, sorry, sorry today. It's just, yeah, in college. Um, uh, long story short, um, Fridays are always busy, especially when. Yeah, you know, especially you know, when I'm in college and that, but nevertheless, I digress. Uh, I thank everybody so much for watching this first episode, and I look forward to uh, continue to share the wonderful experiences and events that transpire in this upcoming series. So, from everyone here at Shorts 2 by Barbara Walls, everyone from the Mass Legion, and everyone on Shorts Patrol, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for another action packed episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.